What's going on everyone, Bob's so 1984 back again and I'm sitting here in absolute disbelief. Uh, Newcastle United have won against Liverpool by winning two goals to nil. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very satisfied. Um, as you can probably imagine, there's a look of shock on my face, look of, um, you know, I wasn't expecting that. Um, we played very well uh, throughout the game. Um, and it was one of those performances that I think we needed to see. A lot of people needed to see a, a good old fashioned, you know, blood and guts, um, everybody fighting for the cause performance. And I thought everybody played really well. Um, you know, Liverpool have come into the game on a, on a massive run of great form. Um, we've obviously uh, gone into the game very poor form. And the way the game started, it was a very scrappy affair um you know there wasn't very much um in it um for the first half um especially um and it was it was kind of you know w w um all of our all of our strength really going forward was on the right hand side as it always seems to be um but i thought um Jan Matt was obviously his typical good self um you know, it was that, that's how I like Jan Matt to play. I like him to go forward. Elsa Soko was okay um, in the first half. In the way that you can tell, um, you know, I've been critical of this um, midfield where you're playing two holding players or two defensive-minded midfield players, but I have to give you know huge credit to Anita today. I mean, I think Anita played fantastically well. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and I thought Callback obviously did his, his stuff as well. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was exactly what Newcastle needed um, in, in terms of a performance. Um, I was a little bit surprised to see uh, De Jong start. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I'm glad he did because I've been an advocate for, for um, De Jong. I'm not saying he had a fantastic game. I just thought he was okay, he was steady. Um, he offers something different. Um, a little bit more of an assured head up front. Um, and that, uh, you know, playing behind CC, I don't really think playing behind CC is a, a good partner for him to be playing behind because let's put it this way, CC, he's, he's so erratic, it's unreal. Um, but, in the, see, I mean, there wasn't really many chances of note in the first half, but then the second half, I thought, I thought we, we kind of, I mean, they brought on storage um, after after the hour mark, and, and let's face it. I mean, Liverpool were really poor today. Um, I'm not going to say Newcastle, but like I say, I'm not saying Newcastle were fantastic and we played Liverpool off the park. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying Liverpool were quite poor, and they brought on storage. And after that, it seemed to just be us who emphasised it, and we decided to take the game by the scruff of the neck. And it was a the ball ball into the box and then you know when Yeldon controls it and it was pretty poor control um loses the ball it looks like he loses the ball but goes out wide gets a shot in and it, it deflects off skirtle really badly how would that manage to to loop in and um, you know it, i'm not complaining it's a goal that we badly needed um and you want it up and you're thinking oh here we go newcastle are going to go into the the usual mode of Hayden and trying to defend a lead when you know for a fact as well as I do Newcastle cannot defend leads but we were doing well and, and Liverpool just didn't look like they threatened um, and then they did when the one time they really threatened it was um, a ball over the top of Marino with absolutely fantastic finish it was beautiful and it wasn't offside it should have stood it, 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 well, we are quite lucky in that respect it should have stood um, and then you get into five. Where did five minutes? Five minutes. How, I mean, how the hell did he get five minutes? I know it was ten. <laughs> where did he get five minutes from? In terms of fucking, um, you know, time added on. I mean, you, you, you're talking about you know sweaty hours time. You know, for a club that have been as poor as we've been recently. I was sitting. I was sitting there thinking, oh, here we go. Here's another classic Liverpool last minute goal against Newcastle. But. It never happened, and then we stride forward, and you got it. It was very similar to when Sissoko put the ball over for Mitrovic's goal against Norwich. You know, he waited and he waited and he waited, and the pass was beautiful. And um, when Yeldum gets nobody can take this goal away from him, um, gets the ball, 
you know, has a, has the shot, it bobbles off the keeper and goes in. Newcastle two 0 up, and and you know the crowd were with the, the team all the way through. You know that that's that's what we want, man. I mean, and I said in my video before, says all we want is a bit of effort, a bit of blood and guts. You know, go on that field and make them work, and 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 you know, you go on that field and, and actually, you know, show where that you's DK and and you's did, and it was everything that we that we wanted from you in terms of a performance. And I, I'm quite proud of them tonight, and I've I've said my pieces in the past about. You know, especially last week in the Palace defeat and, and how, how we were lacking and we just, there was no fight and effort there. But today, I, I can't fault anybody. Everybody played well. Everyone fought for the cause. Colicini played really well as well. Um, and Elliot, he didn't really have anything to do. And that's against the side that have been putting goals in for fun. We can celebrate tonight, lads. We can actually enjoy ourselves for a change. Um, what did you all think of the performance? Um, you should be like me. You should be, you know, obviously delighted and over the moon. Um, who did you? Who was your man of the match? Who stood out for you? Uh, personally, I think one of my man of the match. I thought Anita was brilliant, um, but I think my man of the match was probably going to be the um, either Anita um, or Jan Matt because I thought Jan Matt was really good going forward all day. But as I say, I mean, it's a, you know you could give it to anybody, any anyone but Elliot. But Elliot didn't have anything to do. Aye, but <laughs> it's just nice to it's nice to you know have have a have a good performance at home against a, a top side and, and and you're getting three points for it and a clean sheet. Hopefully we can build on it. Um, but yeah, um, if you like the video, please give it a like um, and subscribe. Um, all season long, these videos will be around. So if you like them, give us some feedback or some comments down below. And I'm Bobster1984, and I'll see you all later.